on this episode of Lapeef Let's Talk. Often at times she labels it as controlling because you want to control a situation that you're not prepared to lead in. And that's the difference between leadership and controlling. I lead my people and they willingly submit to me because they understand that I'm putting them in the best position possible. But the other side of it is that you then become controlling when you're in a space where you're not the man you're supposed to be, but you still want people to submit to you. That's the difference. And that's why I'm a greatest leader of all time, especially when I identify myself as a benevolent dictatorship, because this is not a democracy. And you can't let people that don't even know what's best for themselves choose who their leader is going to be. We've seen this over and over time in times of the Bible. People went soon as Moses went up on a mountaintop, people went and chose their own leaders. They start to figure out what it is that they want to do. And then they find themselves in the worst position possible. You can't let people that don't even know they right from they left choose who their leaders are going to be because but, often at times they're going to choose the person that they feel good and not the person that's best for them. It's right. silly. And to me, that's the difference. Like women need to understand when a man is leading you, he's leading you in 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 the best interest for yourself, the family, the community, the neighborhood, the the nation, so on and so forth, right? And if you're under a jurisdiction where you feel like you're being controlled, then you make your adjustments, but understand that that man is gonna make adjustments as needed as well. Okay. King, the difference between leading and being controlled in relationships. You on mute, brother, you on mute. Yeah, here's, here's what it is with me, and I'm going to be real honest with you. Um, and no shots, you know, I always throw shots at my brother Antoine. Antoine. Um, the, real, the, the real issue is men have an issue with leading properly, right? Because we are the leaders within the family structure. Um, I think no one should be controlled in a relationship. No one. And the reason why I say that is because I remember last um, uh, show we had, I think Ant Antoine said, um, you know, I am a benevolent uh, dictator. And when he said that, and I found, I found it kind of, I don't, I don't, I didn't like that term because to me, everyone in the house, a leader is a person that inspires. He doesn't hold anyone in bondage. He doesn't, he doesn't, does, he gives you a choice. The, the biggest leader in the world is God and he gave us free will. So how dare you as a man, right? Say, you don't have a choice. You do what I say, when I say, how I say it. So this is not to start an argument with Anton when I use, cause I usually do it, but I'm just going back to a point where it says, hey, if you're a real leader, the people who are going to choose you, they're not gonna need you. Right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're gonna get the response. You're gonna get the response. But it's we don't want as a leader, you don't want to create this unhealthy dependency or codependency. You wanna you wanna make that person wake up every morning and say, you know what, I trust you with my life, I trust you with my time, I trust you with my heart, I trust you. Right? You don't when you say to someone, you do what I say because I'm the one that, that makes it happen in here, it's a little condescending to me. So now you can reply. That was possibly one of the most simpish, simpish answers that I've ever heard in my entire life. Family. It's an honest one. Absolutely. And you know, the interesting thing about it, and I had these conversations all the time, is that the freer people become, the worse off they are. The freer people become, the worse are off they are. That's why as you see, even in today's society, the more freedom that people have to choose for themselves, often they choose wrong. Now, one thing that's interesting about this whole conversation is that when I say benevolent dictatorship, the one thing, and I've said this often also, is that the only thing that I would ever, ever get divorced off of is if she chose not to be there. Now, the difference is that you're not ruling with an iron fist and that you're preventing people from coming and going as they please. And I've often also said that being a leader is being a servant first. It's servant 
leadership. You put every single person in the, in the best position possible. Leadership is really being able to identify where people's talents are, enabling them to be able to be the best version of themselves. So his understanding of what it is that what it means to be a benevolent dictatorship and then substituting it for simping, right? Saying that you should simp instead is one of the reasons why men are losing overwhelmingly today. And so the thing about it is that when you are a leader and when you are on your purpose and when you are on your grind, no woman will ever say that you're controlling her because she wants to submit to you. She's just looking for the right person to do so. And because you're not the man that you're supposed to be, often at times she labels it as controlling because you want to control a situation that you're not prepared to lead in. And that's the difference between leadership and controlling. I lead my people and they willingly submit to me because they understand that I'm putting them in the best position possible. But the other side of it is that you then become controlling when you're in a space where you're not the man you're supposed to be, but you still want people to submit to you. That's the difference. And that's why I'm a greatest leader of all time, especially when I identify myself as a benevolent dictatorship, because this is not a democracy and you can't let people that don't even know what's best for themselves choose who their leader is going to be. We've seen this over and over time in times of the Bible. People went, as soon as Moses went up on the mountaintop, people went and chose their own leaders. They start to figure out what it is that they want to do. And then they find themselves in the worst position possible. You can't let people that don't even know they right from they left choose who their leaders are going to be. Because but, often at times they're going to choose the person that they feel good and not the person that's best for them. It's right. silly. No, no, right. So so, so you, you, you're right. When people choose leaderships and they don't have, they're not informed, they pick up based on likability, who they like and not if they not if they're capable or not, right? But for me, I've been blessed. I've been blessed to lead other leaders. And every in every organization I was in, I was blessed to lead other leaders. See, anybody that's around me, they are also leaders. See, I don't surround myself with incompetent people where I could talk to them like that and say, hey, you don't know what you're doing, so you need to listen to me. That's not the people I want around me. If you want to surround yourself with idiots and followers and then call yourself King Kong, go ahead. But when I'm around, I'm around, I'm around the best. So when we make a decision, we make a decision together. But I'm the one to execute or lead the discussion to a better solution. Go ahead, really. You want to chime in? Yeah, I was just I was I'm listening to the brothers um speak and and, and when we talk about leadership, and I, I agree. Um, in part with what King is saying in terms of, um, you know, I think I think what it ultimately boils down to is that regardless of what leaders are going to lead and Anton, I think even you've said on this platform a couple of times, fam, like I'm not concerned with who's not called to me. Right. When I speak, they hear my voice. Right. So so, King, I would have to ask in that same scenario, do you do you uh, subscribe to that same theory in terms of like the people who hear my voice? Those are the ones that are called to me. I'm not worried about those who aren't called to me. I'm not called to lead them. Right. So that's 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 something that you subscribe to. And I think Anton refers to a lot. He's not here for everyone. Right. I'm a person where, where is that my job is to put the message out there and understand that not everyone learns at the same time at the same speed. 